any sin. And I've probably, <laughs> Lord knows, I, I have many to repent of myself. I'm not condoning, I'm not supporting any sin or any of those behaviors that I talked about. I'm simply saying we don't have the right to take that choice away from anyone. No one, no one tells you you can only buy one dress, one pair of shoes for the year. And, and then go so far as to tell you what kind of dress and what color of dress and what kind of shoes and what, you know, what if somebody did that? What if it, what if it ever came to that? And you know, there are some countries, there are some countries where those kinds of laws or similar kinds of laws are in place you know there are there are some uh some of our our middle eastern uh friends brothers and sisters they have some laws in some of those countries india china i mean look at well and for an example go with china with the one you know i don't know if they still have it but there was there used to be a one child law every family could only have one child i think they've subsequently may may have changed that but um that certainly goes against god right because god said be fruitful and multiply so I, w- I wonder i wonder how the sanctity of life people would do in china you know those uh uh, uh folks that are uh, are against abortion or what about those countries who who um uh, don't you know don't tolerate any alcohol or you know whatever uh, just in their societies or those those places there'd be people you know really really getting upset about that in fact we know that this is true because some of these same folks out there who are, remember I'm speaking mostly to the church of god now the people who say they are followers of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the Messiah. Some of those people, they have the choice. You know, big argument right now, wearing masks or not wearing masks. And though some of those same people that would take the choice away from someone's body, are standing on their heads because someone is mandating that they wear a mask. And if you can recall, many, many years ago, and maybe some of you out there who are listening are too young for this, but there was a time when there were no seatbelts in cars. And when they started putting seatbelts in, that was one thing. But then when they made it a law that you had to wear a seatbelt, boy, there was all kinds of grumbling and complaining. And finally, people came around to doing it. And then they saw that, oh, it actually may save lives. Wow. And and there are probably still to this day some people who won't wear a seatbelt but you know what that's their choice right so that was all that i was trying to say um and so that is why um i just ask you when you're listening and participating and commenting and thinking um (laughs) uh uh do not hear what I have not said. And I appreciate your comments and I really in, enjoy our interactions and I look forward to future questions and comments and I look forward to our study on tomorrow, uh, Saturday, 3 p.m. 
Eastern Standard Time. And you know, it's a live broadcast, so you can enter in the chat room, ask questions, give comments, all those good things. And until then, Shabbat Shalom.